Hi, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, my name is uh, Lingling Chu, uh, CEO and director of uh, Andalithium. Uh, it's my pleasure to come to talk about uh, uh, our uh, Elmer Lithium project. Uh, yeah, just look at this. Uh, this is about a one year old uh, diagram shows all these uh, the deposits uh, in the world, the hard rock lithium deposits in the world. And the interesting part is we can see these deposits seems like they favor some continents. These are uh, diamond uh, producing diamonds. And uh, yeah, so so we can see these are uh, these deposits from Australia, and also like Australia has these uh, world class deposits. And also, uh, Africa has uh, a world-class deposit. And you know, we are in Canada. It's uh, especially in Yellowknife. We know we are producing diamonds too. But where are where is our big deposit? And uh, so that is why we are talking about the Elmer lithium. And we are looking into uh, deposit in future in this area rather than here. Uh, yeah, please let me introduce a uh, uh, very honorable uh, uh, staff from uh, academic. Uh, that's uh, Peter Cherney, and it, uh, all his work has um, has contribution to this uh, uh, yellow knife area. And we know uh, LCT uh, pigmentize in uh, lithium exploration, and also we know uh, like this map. You know, actually, these comes from uh, Peter Cherney's uh, 1991. Uh, publication and also uh, uh, like uh, low pressure that's a pet light and high pressure spot me this uh, phase diagram in 1990 he published it's uh, uh, this distri uh, distribution in uh, in Canada so it's low pressure uh, so sp superior province and uh, slave province. So petalite, low pressure uh, it, for superior and uh, spodumene, high pressure for uh, uh, slave kraton. So we zoom into uh, slave kraton. And slave kraton, he has, uh, I think, uh, yeah, there's a PhD thesis. That's his student, student uh, did uh, yellow knife area. That's this, uh, you know, gray area. That's a uh, metal sediments. Uh, after that, he had a master student that did had a, did do, did the study on this uh, bigger area. That's a Elmer Elmer Lake McKay Elmer uh, Lake area. So mm -hmm. let's go to. So there's uh, these uh, publications like from uh, 1988 to even to 1994. All these publications about these uh, uh, hard rock lithium the pegmatites. Uh, all these, uh, all these area, all these publications, and then uh, point into one area, one interesting area. That's a Nevis Lake area. That's a small lake here, and uh, from field study, it has yeah. There's evidence because, uh, for example, there's uh, uh, lots of spodumene bearing uh, pegmatites. And uh, with impact, has lots of spodumene, and also there's uh, internal structures, donins, and uh, scoidal uh, albite structure, and also there's uh, external uh, zonins too. And uh, in the following years, uh, the pub his uh, that's uh, Paul Tomskak, uh, the publication is about the possibility of a sizable. A buried lithium deposit, and also later it's a like an exposed uh, deposit. So our Elmer lithium project covers uh, it's it's about uh, uh, yeah it covers uh, the whole uh, Nevis Lake area. We have uh, thirty three mineral claims, and it's about uh, three hundred thirty eight square kilometers. And there's lots of uh, uh, spodumene pegmatites and uh, rich in spodumene and crystal. We, d yeah, these are high quality spodumenes. First, it's uh, high purity, and second, it's uh, big crystal crystal size. Uh, from uh, 
Paul Tomskak's uh, and also Peter Cherney's uh, publication, there's a, a net red bird. And uh, after that, in 2008, there's a, a ground uh, prospecting. I also found this like east. And also there's a red extend, extension one, extension two. So this is, uh, uh, this is, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, so this is a uh, uh, nap area. These, uh, it's uh, pretty much is covered by glacier, but these exposed uh, uh, spot, the, the, these outcrops, we can see, uh, can, cannot really see. <laughs> so this uh, pretty much covered by the lichens. But we can see here, this looks like uh, uh, rock joints, but it's not rock joint, it's uh, spodumene cleavage. So these are big crystals, can be over one meter in size. And uh, when we take a sample here, you can see the quality, it's, uh, we like a pure, we like a white rather than greenish or apple green. And uh, this like a sugar, uh, rock sugar uh, color. So over 7%, 7 7.35% uh, uh, lithium oxide. And uh, also second vein, we have a sample that's 7.2 and also it's, it's, it's snow white. And uh, I brought a drone and uh, we flew over and there's more veins and I just, we didn't do the sampling yet. Okay, we go to, uh, so uh, race area. Race area is, there's lots of veins. It's very complicated. And uh, next phase, we need to really do a detailed mapping. It's, uh, there's lots of pegmatites uh, uh, intruded in a granite. Uh, this is a satellite image. And we can see uh, these uh, uh, gray white, that's uh, granite. And these are like a, kind of like a cotton white and like a clouds. These are the pegmatites. We did a sampling. And uh, these, this, uh, this bar is uh, uh, 1,000 meters long. So we can still can see here some some here we didn't do sampling yet. Okay, this is outcrop. Uh, here it's a border, and this is outcrop. Same, and it's uh, lots of lichens, and uh, essa gives a six point six point one six percent lithium oxide, and this one it's uh, yeah the 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 surface is it's it's rough. Uh, this one is a, uh, seven point three. And uh, also there's some crystals. These are big crystals. Okay, we uh, move to uh, rate extension one. This is uh, uh, the crystal. Yeah, that's how I got from Mark. And uh, uh, th uh, this is the spodumene. This is a fragment of a uh, spodumene uh, uh, from here. Really big sized, uh, very big sized uh, spodumene. You can see this is a hammer and these are big crystals and this is a hammer and this crystal. So it's this one is, the length is more than one meter and you can see it's not only long, it's wide too. And we move to extension two, this area. Extension two is a little different. You can see these uh, crystals are smaller, but it's, they're still very big crystal and but smaller like fingers, bigger than fingers. And uh, seems like they have a direction. So we like here. It's uh, texture is like a fiber texture, and uh, we can see the color is a little pinkish. So there's some changes now. And we move to east. East is uh, comparing to uh, to the west side, to the cent central side and the west side. And uh, east side is more exposed. So we can see, uh, pretty much we can see a width of a vein, like this helicopter. This is about 40, 40 meters uh, wide. And uh, uh, so this, this is a, another vein, helicopter. And uh, you, can, we, you can see it extend uh, to here and uh, to the water pond. And this is another vein. and. Uh, so there's lots of vents, but it seems like they are cut or yeah, displaced. So we, yeah, we zoom into this uh, outcrop. So this rock, it's uh, obviously red, pink, pinkish red. So these, uh, and this is the, the, the white part that's uh, spodumene and it looks like patches. Uh, so this sample, just write this rock, uh, give a value, it's a 4.26 because you can see there's a, uh, a potassium first bar. 
And uh, if we only sample this spodumene, it doesn't matter if uh, the rock is pink or white, all these spodumene is about, uh, can give about 7.6% uh, lithium oxide, so it's very pure. Uh, okay, and uh, you know, this is not our property, so I, do, I didn't visit, but I can collect the data. These are uh, the cro red crosses, these are these uh, spodumene. Uh, uh, you know, sampling. So put together, so there's a bird, nebbish, reds, and uh, this is a uh, zoning from uh, Thomas Keck. And uh, so these are around, this work, it's actually, it's uh, these three areas, uh, Thomas Keck already did this research. So seems like uh, we have a uh, first rim, it's surrounding uh, the zoning. So the diameter is uh, the, the perimeter. The perimeter is about uh, 25 kilometers uh, and uh, we have these left uh, like this spot, this spot, and also red extension too. Seems like it is a second rim, so it's uh, the perimeter is about 40 kilometers. So we talk about uh, some company talk about uh, how long the uh, mineralization zone. You can see we have different rims. So inner rim is 25, exterior more, and also we have these yeast. I think it's uh, more rims like uh, three, four, five, six, we don't know how many. And uh, you know, the first rim, you still remember it's a white and a big spodumene crystal. So uh, the, the whole rock is, is white. And uh, so we, yeah, so this is pretty much, this uh, plagioclase that's uh, albite, so albite spodumene. And we have, uh, uh, still remember the east side, it's uh, red, pinkish red. So that's a uh, more, it's a uh, feldspar is more potassium feldspar. And also we have uh, a race extension too, that is uh, pinkish, kind of, it's not really clear, just between them. So we have this, uh, the zonation, the exterior zonation we have from inner to outside, it's uh, uh, L-bite spodumene, and then L-bite uh, feldspar spodumene, and then to uh, feldspar, uh, feldspar uh, spodumene. So for this uh, big crystal, well, in future, it'll be good for uh, direct uh, DSO uh, shipping, just mining these big crystal, and uh, that's just ready to ship. And, and uh, for these uh, smaller ones, probably can still do uh, DSO, but uh, I think there's another other method, that's a DMS, can uh, get the concentrate out and the ship. Uh, okay. Okay, discussion two, it's uh, structure. You know, these are uh, rim structures. You know, this, at, uh, at the center, there's a uh, pegmatic uh, granite at the center. So these are just uh, surround, the cent uh, surround this, uh, uh, you know, this uh, evolved uh, S-type granite. So this, uh, that's a structure. Uh, the intrusion cools down, so the volume shrink. That's uh, these uh, concentric uh, fractures comes, and then that's how uh, we propose kind of this uh, interpre uh, interpretation. Okay, a uh, little bit more. So it's uh, it's in the diamond mining area, and it's about a seventy kilometer from uh, Davik mine. So any experience from uh, di diamond mine, I think we can carry that into in future into uh, uh, lithium mining. Uh, first, there's a winter road. This winter road, comparing to like Quebec and Ontario, it's it's different. It's special. It's two months uh, operational. Others probably two weeks. Sometimes probably not. So this two months uh, operational period, uh, and also carries this much uh, for diamond mining. Carry carry this much uh, material uh, uh, mining supplies in, and in future for. Uh, um, lithium mining, there will be this much, can carry this much lithium uh, concentrate out. So, and also for uh, powers, and uh, you know, currently I think the main power that is from diesel, and uh, uh, but uh, you can see a diamond mine, uh, mine has uh, this uh, wind power, it's trying wind power, and also it's uh, building this uh, uh, solar power. So that's kind of unique in Northwestern territory too. 
Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay. Questions? A couple minutes for questions if anyone has any. So, which is right? So you, you see the scale, these are the distance from the, you mean the distance from the intrusion is roughly here and uh, scale bar, uh, there's a scale bar, sorry, <laughs> the scale bar is too big. This is about uh, 10 kilometers. So from from the intrusion to it's about uh, two to three kilometer for, to the to the first, uh, uh, first, first uh, rim. So that is uh, net, Rates and bird, bird. I didn't visit. Probably it's different. If the bird is different, maybe we should we will modify this rim a little bit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.